Hey you guys, it's me, I'm Brittany, and I'm back with a tutorial. I'm not doing a voiceover for this one because I was having some technical difficulties, so I'll just be speaking to y'all. For this um, wrap, I'm going to be using my Wendy Shaper in Blonde. The Wendy Shaper is from Rapunzel. This is also from Rapunzel. This is the extra long t-shirt scarf in turquoise. And then I'm using this beautiful, it's the Royal African Print Head Wrap from Heavenly Head Wraps. And isn't that royal? It's so pretty. So let's get started. I'm going to start with doing my crisscross turban underneath. You guys have seen me do this several times. And I'm going to talk you through it once again. But it's the exact same thing. The only difference is because I'm using my windy shaper for this one. I'm not even going to bother folding in my edges too much. Um, because I want to make sure that I've got enough material to cover the back. So I want my tails to be as evenly as possible. This is a super, super long uh, scarf. It's 113 inches long. So it's going to be really difficult to get this one absolutely perfect as far as making sure that your tails are um, exactly even. But it's okay. You just want them to be as even as possible. And I think I did a pretty good job with that just by eyeballing. tuck one end away and then we're going to take always start with my left side it's just my preference if you want to start with your right side and that's perfectly okay it's just what I do so we're going to fold it in half and once you have that down to the width of a sash you're going to wrap it completely around your head so I started on my left side and I'm going to end on that same side. And now we're going to do the exact same thing to our right tail. We're folding it in. And my mirror is behind the camera. So if you see me looking off, that's what I'm doing. We're just going to wrap this around like so. Start on our right side, we're gonna end on our right side. And from here, I just kind of shape because I do want my, um, the angle of it to be on the right. Like that. So there we go. And I don't even have to worry about tucking this little flat part in because it's going to get covered up by this royal African print scarf from Heavenly Head Wraps. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this um, in thirds. So one part of it goes to, I fold down to maybe like midway for one half and then for the bottom half. I bring that up midway as well. That way I keep the length of the scarf. I just uh, whittle the width of it down. Y'all look at that, that is so pretty and my camera doesn't, doesn't do it justice, but it's really, really bright and very vibrant. And just like an extra long t-shirt scarf, I want my tails to be as evenly as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just do that by tilting my head back and um, making sure that my arms line up, measure up whenever I pull everything down. So um, the way that I incorporate, anytime I'm working with two scarves, the way that I incorporate them is I bring the scarves, the tails that I've already um, tied up, I bring them forward and I have them on top. That way my tails from the secondary scarf are underneath and I can just bring it back like so. And then you just tie and we have everything secured. There we go. 
making sure my shaper is covered in the back and it is and we're just going to bring up our first set of tails and we'll just kind of crisscross them like so and I'm just going to tuck them right in here Wherever they end, that's where you tuck. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. And bring it up and around. And wherever they end, right here. So that's where I tuck in, right here. And that's where I tuck in. I love, 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 love this scarf from Heavenly Head Wraps. And that's the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.